Hi everyone and welcome to Idolize Makeup Tutorial Channel. So this week and next week I'm sort of doing like a flashback Friday for my Freaky Friday looks. So this week's Freaky Friday makeup was actually inspired by the makeup that one of my good friends Cassie wore to a Halloween party that we both went to last year. And Cassie actually has a YouTube channel that she does makeup on as well. And she does like really pretty makeup and she's got awesome tips. So make sure you head on over to her channel and check it out. I'll leave the link down below. And next week I'll actually be doing the look that I wore to the exact same Halloween party, which was a cartoon zombie. So keep an eye out for that one next week. And so I'm going to show you how to do this Cracked Doll Halloween makeup right now. Okay, so as you can see, I've already done my foundation base, which is just my normal foundation mixed with a really, really light concealer. And I've also just applied my eyebrows, which I've just applied normally, but you can do them a little bit thinner if you like. And I've also just put my hair into a plait on either side, just to make it look like a cute little doll hair. Okay, so the things that you'll need to do this look today are the following. A very light pink shimmer eyeshadow and a nice dark pink rosy eyeshadow, a black eyeshadow, a super bright pink blush, a bright pink lip liner pencil, a bright pink lipstick, a black gel eyeliner, a white pencil eyeliner, a white liquid eyeliner or a white face paint, a black mascara, some lashes, and some lash glue. Okay, so the first step is to take your light pink eyeshadow and apply it the whole way over your eyelid do a couple of layers to make it nice and opaque and then take your dark pink eyeshadow and apply it just above the crease line and joining up to the outside corner of the eye. Once you've done that, take a thinner brush with the same colour and just really define the edge of that crease line on the inside. Then take a fluffy brush and blend all of this outwards. Next take your black gel eyeliner on a thin brush and apply it the whole way across the top lash line. Then take your mascara and apply it to your top lashes. Next, take a white eyeliner pencil and apply it to your lower waterline as well as underneath the waterline. Then take your black gel eyeliner once again on a very thin brush and apply it underneath that white line, joining up to the outside corner and the inside corner of your eye. Then lightly flick some small lashes underneath the eye the whole way along that line. Next, apply some eyelash glue to your false eyelashes and then apply them on your top lash line as close to the lash line as you can get. Now take your bright pink blush and apply it over your whole cheek from the apple of the cheek right up towards your ear. Now take your black gel eyeliner on a very thin flat brush and start applying a crack shape to your forehead and also one to your cheek. Try and do them on the opposite sides of the face so that it's nice and balanced. And with the crack shape, you can apply the lines pretty much wherever you like randomly, as long as they all end up joining together. And it's a good idea to try and put some pointy ends in there as well. Once you've drawn the outline for both of the shapes, fill them in using your black eyeshadow. Use a bigger brush at first to, to fill in the center of the shape. And then once you've done that, switch to a smaller brush so that you can get right up close to the edges of the shapes. Once you've done that, use your black gel eyeliner once again to go around the edges of the shapes, making them a lot darker and a little bit thicker. Then switch to your small flat brush once again and use it to draw some little cracks extending from the outside of the shape. Now take your pink liner pencil and line around the lips, just chopping off a little bit of the outside corner on the top and bottom lip. Make sure that the cupid's bow is really defined and rounded. Once you've done that, take your bright pink lipstick and fill in inside those lines. Then lastly, take your white liquid liner and apply a small line to the top and the bottom lip on the same side to give it the effect that there is light reflecting off it. Okay guys, so here you can see the final cracked doll look. And as you can see, I finished it off by adding in a little headpiece. So you can add a bow or just any pretty little headpiece that you've got. Or you can even add some bows to the end of your plaits. That would be really cute. And I've just added this outfit as well, which is a pink corset. I'll show it to you guys. So it's just a little pink corset. It's got a little bow here. It's really cute. And I think it's really fitting for Halloween too because it's got a bit of lace on it. If you guys enjoyed this video today, please give it a thumbs up to let me know. And if you have any suggestions for a Halloween look you'd like to see, leave me a comment down below. And as always, thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you for the next video.